Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. Here you will learn inheritance of constructor in Dart. What happened to constructor while you are working on inheritance? Okay. Now let's see a demo of it. Okay. I'll just create one class that is laptop dot Dart. Okay. Let me create a class laptop. Okay. And let's say we have one constructor that is that just print I am laptop constructor. I am laptop constructor. Okay. And let's create another class that is MacBook. Okay. MacBook with extend laptop okay here is also one constructor this is default constructor and i will just print i am macbook constructor okay okay now in the main method let me create object of macbook macbook mv is equal to macbook okay and let me create object of macbook i already create macbook object mv now let me run the program okay because while creating object constructor is called automatically if you have any question regarding constructor, then you can move to our constructor section. And if you have any question regarding inheritance, then you can move to our inheritance section or you can also watch our videos. Okay. Now, uh, let me run this program, which is that laptop dot that. Okay. Here you can see I am laptop constructor got printed and I am macbook constructor got printed while creating object of macbook class it will first print the information of this I am laptop constructor okay here you can see I am laptop constructor got printed at first then it will print I am macbook constructor okay constructor of super class is called first before constructor of subclass okay this is the rule okay now let's move forward here you can see one note the constructor of parent class or super class is called first then constructor of child class is called okay inheritance of constructor with parameters what if we have parameter what if i have integer id and what if I want to print the ID? I am laptop constructor with ID dollar ID. Okay. In in this situation, you need to write this super keyword. Okay. Just write super and in the parenthesis, just pass the value. I will pass 25. Then if I run this program, here you can see I am laptop constructor with ID 25 and I am macbook constructor got printed in this way you can pass the value you can also pass uh, multiple values like integer id string brand and you can also pass the brand from here and I will say brand is is dollar brand okay and if I run this program here you can see I'm laptop constructor with ID 25 and brand is Apple. Okay. In this way, you can pass the value. Okay. In the parent class constructor. And here is another example inheritance of constructor. Here is one class person and here is constructor and here is student uh, which extend person okay here is extra roll number okay let's do this example okay i'll just write person 
dot that and let me create class person okay i'll say a string name and integer is i also need to write question mark you will learn about this question mark in our null safety section okay now let me create constructor person this dot name and this dot is okay now let me create class teacher extend person i will say salary is additional field in teacher okay and let me create constructor of teacher for this you need to create a constructor of teacher dots okay we are ex already extending person okay teacher okay now extend person okay this is teacher constructor okay now we need to use the super okay here you can see student okay we need to pass the value first okay just i'll pass a string that is name and integer that is is and super i will pass name is here and i will say is is this dot is this dot is okay sorry this dot salary okay salary is this dot salary now if i create in the main method if i create object of teacher teacher t is equal to teacher just pass name bimal age is let's say 25 and salary is 6500 okay if i run this program t dot there is not no method called display okay let me create also create method display where display which is display print name is dollar name and print is 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 dollar is and print salary is dollar salary okay okay then i will use display method here t dot display okay if i run this program that is person dot dark okay name age and salary got printed in this way you can use constructor with inheritance okay okay now here is also another example how you can use with named parameter okay for the name parameter you need to write just this one okay and you need to give the name name colon name is colon is this is name parameter if you have any question regarding name name parameter then go to our previous section okay this is the way and another one here you can see calling named constructor of parent class in that okay this named constructor let me create another constructor this is named constructor i'll say person dot named okay and i will only pass first name here okay this dot first name this dot name i'll only pass pass name and i'll set the age is this dot is equal to zero i'll set the age is zero or not zero i'll say 12 okay how you can call this constructor this is named constructor and this is named parameter okay this is named parameter and this is named constructor okay okay this is named constructor with parameter okay now let me call this constructor from this t 
teacher okay now there is one teacher okay i will remove this constructor and i will say teacher okay i need to pass the string name and then this dot salary super dot named okay this name and i need to pass the name this name got passed to here and okay if i run this program here is one problem 6500 okay teacher we need to pass salary in the second parameter we need to pass the salary okay if i run this program here you can see name is bimal age is 12 and salary is 6500 got printed this is we are uh, setting s 12 by passing only one value okay okay in this way you can uh, use named constructor in that i hope you understood about the process of uh, how we can use constructor in inheritance in that and thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question then comment down below i will see you in the next video tutorial thank you